Hey there, I'm Nat. And first, you know, it's been a while, so I just wanted to say Happy New Year, which it's not exactly new at this point, but it's the first time we're seeing each other in 2017, so Happy New Year. And speaking of new, today's video is the first in a new series I want to make called Five Google Things You Should Know About. I've worked at Google for a while and I've seen a bunch of different apps, experiments, Easter eggs, little product hacks that Google's released. A lot of them really useful or really fun. I share them with my friends all the time and now I want to share them with you, my video friends, five things at a time around a specific theme. So today I'm bringing you five different games that Google's made. I love playing these games and I think you will too. So without further ado, First, have you ever noticed that little dinosaur that appears in your Chrome browser if you don't have internet connection? Well, that's actually a secret Easter egg game where you, a T-Rex, jump over cactuses and dodge flying pterodactyls for as long as you can or until your Wi-Fi starts working again. Have you ever played that what? one? No, my mind's blown right now. I never knew this. Boom. Google has also made a lot of games for the doodles that appear on its homepage. And guess what? You can still play these games even after their day of fame on google.com. Just head over to the doodles archive, click interactive, and a bunch of different ones will show up. Like one of my favorites, the Halloween doodle from this year, where you get to be a cat with a magic wand warding off ghosts and other evil spirits. And if you like cats, maybe you'd like drawing cats. Quick Draw is an AI experiment, and how it works is you have 20 seconds or less to draw something, and then a machine learning algorithm tries to guess what you've drawn. Sometimes it gets it right. Oh, I know, it's roller skates. Sometimes it gets it not so right. I see the Great Wall of China. But by playing, you're actually helping this machine learning algorithm get even better at recognizing other people's drawings. And of course, Google loves its experiments, so there's also a whole Chrome Experiments website with tons of games on it. One of my favorites is called Super Sync Sports. How it works is you sync your phone to your computer screen and then it acts like a controller. And you and your friends can compete against one another in silly sporting games, like being bananas, running around a track, or cycling as a giant eyeball. Or if you're more of the arcade game type, try doing an image search on your computer for Atari Breakout and wait for it. Yep, your whole screen will turn into a game of Atari Breakout. Thanks for watching. Hope you go play some games. I'll put the links in the description below so you can check out everything that I've mentioned. And if you have any game that you think is fun that Google's made and you want others to know about it, just leave a comment on this video so others can check those out. Bye. I'm gonna go play some games or just eat some ice cream.